If you go ahead with this and build it, it would stand as a 17-foot-high fist in the face of anyone who loves Charlevoix. Fiery words from a large crowd of community members and business owners who want to hold construction on this gas fireplace in East Park. I mean, I've looked at that view almost every day of my life. And when they did this reconstruction, they tore down buildings to make it a little better. And now they're sticking something right back up there again, and I don't like that. The uh, shoreline is really, it's so limited, and for them to put up a monstrosity like they're doing is an affront to the people of Charlevoix. And the view isn't the only sticking point for some. Kathy Ackerman, owner of Round Lake Gallery on Bridge Street, says this could negatively affect downtown business. Some people are calling this the mistake on the lake. Um, the community has been gathering a lot in these downtown businesses that are most affected. Um, the coffee shop here, Gaga's for Kids, the fudge shop. And while the fireplace will be built with donation money, it'll still cost the city nearly $7,000 a year in gas bills. Some community members say they feel like they were blindsided with the project. The the community feels like they weren't heard on this one. It happened so quickly. Um, the, the city processes weren't really followed. Um, and so by the time people understood what was happening here, we were told it was too late. But the mayor says that's simply not the case. It's easy to be reactive instead of proactive. And by that I mean we had, this, we had open meetings several times and council was open to listen to the public. And we had no one react to this at all. Now people saw something happening and now they're reacting to it. And react they did, enough so that council members voted to stop construction and revise the fireplace plan, considering location, height of chimney, and protection of Round Lake views.